It's official, it's real, and we've installed it on our Nexus 5X. Thanks to public betas, Android 7.0 Nougat has been one of the better documented Android releases. Now in a proper consumer form, here's a quick tour around Google's latest sweet treat. Nougat brings a number of UI tweaks to the table which we've come to appreciate from manufacturer skins. My favorite addition are these quick toggles in the notification shade. No longer requiring a double swipe or two finger pull, your first five quick settings are right here. And everything in this notification shade has gotten a lot smarter. Quick settings are accessed directly here before shuffling you off to the full settings menu. More apps will support proper replies directly from the notification, and multiple notifications from the same app are bundled more efficiently. Oh, and those apps that spam you can be silenced here too. Also handy are new multitasking options. Quick Switch works like an alt tab on a PC to juggle between two apps, but sometimes you just need both of them on the screen at the same time. So now we finally get proper split screen support baked right into the OS. Data and battery options have been polished up. Data Saver provides better limits and thresholds for managing background data use, and Doze is now called Doze on the Go, allowing the phone to go into a low power state even when you're moving if the phone is in a pocket or a purse. This will hopefully eke out a little more runtime during the day. The update process has been improved, even moving from the dev preview to the official release, we didn't have to sit through updating apps, which was really nice. And Direct Boot maintains a secure environment for your data while launching apps and services faster in the background. Even before you put in your password, fewer worries there as your info is encrypted at the file level. And because people seem to care about these things, there are a figurative metric ton of emojis. You should be able to manage all of your interpersonal communications via hieroglyphics now. Maybe more practical, your keyboard now has better language support. There are also a number of tweaks under the hood, a new JIT compiler and support for Vulkan APIs should improve in-app and gaming performance. Built into Nougat is better support for VR, but we won't really be able to test that out directly until we get Daydream compatible hardware. Lastly, we get a few helpful tweaks for clearing multitasking apps and notifications, and a new emergency page will let you list info like your blood type and allergies alongside your emergency contacts. And there you have it folks, Nougat in a nutshell. Now we just need manufacturers to jump on updates while we await the next batch of Nexus phones and the LG V20 as the first smartphones to launch with this new operating system. Those of you on Nexus devices, what do you think of the updates so far? Drop us a comment down below this video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like these and help us out with some sharing on your favorite social networks. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram. And I will catch you all on the next video.